Hello, this is Gavin York, Snooker Coach. We're going to take a look at another video today. This is a friend of mine, Ramnick. It's the start of his first lesson, this video. Um, and this is before any changes were made. So there'll be two or three little, little faults that he'll have. So I thought it'd be interesting to just go through the video and pick out a few of his faults um, before we rectified them. So let's have a look at the video. So first of all, the first thing I notice, he's been asked to play a top spin shot. So his tip is actually pointing at the top of the cue ball, but there's a gap between the tip and the cue ball. Um, so that means he will lose some of his follow through because the tip should be at the cue ball so that as soon as he strikes, the tip is going into the cue ball and through and out the other side. But because his tip is not right up to the cue ball, He's going to lose some of that follow through before the Q tip actually strikes the cue ball. So I'd like to see that improved. So in the address position, which is when you first get down, I'd like the Q tip right up to the cue ball. And then for each of his feathers, I'd like his, his Q tip right up to the cue ball for each one as well. The second thing I'd like to see is his chin is quite a bit off the cue. Um, some players don't don't like to have the chin on the cue because it can feel a bit strange to them, and that's understandable. But I think here the gap is a little bit too too big, and I'd prefer if the chin was a little bit lower down on the cue. If the chin and the head is too far up, you don't get a proper view of the cue ball. So that when you're picking your spin and looking to see where the cue tip is actually going to hit the cue ball, you will get a different view if your head is too far up off the cue. And you won't be able to play the spin that you want. So I'd like that chin a little bit lower. Right, so let's have a look at the cue in action. Um, oh, you can play the top spin. So... We've just gone through with the shot, and like I say, I asked him to play top spin. But here at the end of the shot, you can see that the cue is actually going up. The cue butt is actually lower than the cue tip. So what he's done is as he's struck the cue ball, he's created the top spin by dropping the butt of the cue so that the tip goes up and strikes the top or the very top of the cue ball. And that's how he's creating his top spin rather than aiming at the top of the cue ball and striking the top of the cue ball and letting the cue go through in a straight line. The problem with dropping the grip like he has, so this is dropped, is that it's very inconsistent. If you drop too early, the tip will rise 
and you might miss Q over the top of the cue ball. If you drop it too late, the Q-tip won't, won't rise enough and you won't actually create enough topspin. So it's a very it's a very difficult way of creating the topspin. Um, although it is quite common, especially with beginners, they tend to drop the cue bar um, and sort of flick up at the cue ball to create the topspin. The other problem here, because he's dropped the cue bar, is he hasn't gone all the way through to the chest, so he hasn't completed the shot. That cue um, should go all the way through and the, the grip should go all the way through to the chest. So I'd like to see that, that grip going through on a straight line and uh, going through all the way to the chest and finishing at the shot at the chest. So we'll take another look at that cue. So let's have a look at that last strike. So here is set up for this shot. There's his cue. So that's that's pretty parallel. Slightly sloping down, but it's pretty parallel. So that's not too bad. Um, however, as you can see, as he's pulling the cue back each time, you can see as he cues, pulls the cue back there, his grip actually rises. And that's because his grip is too tight and his elbow is acting like a pendulum. So his elbow here is acting like a pendulum. And then the forearm is going up and down, up and down. So his grip is too tight. His grip needs to open and be a lot looser so that the cue can come back in a straight line and follow that red line rather than lifting each time he pulls the cue back so a lot looser grip and he needs to let the back of the hand open as he pulls the cue back and that'll keep it along the red line and then we'll just see the strike so he lifts up at the back and then he's going to strike and like i say it's you can see that he drops he strikes so if we go back to here put a line in there's his cue you can see he's, he's lifting there so there you can see the lift and then he strikes and now you can see the the cue and the grip are now below the line. So as he's pulled back, he's lifted above the line with the tight grip. And as he's struck the cue ball, he's dropped the bat to try and create the top spin. So what he needs to do is follow that plane of that cue as he goes back and forwards, back and forwards. And that should enable him to hit the cue ball in the right place. And he should be much more consistent. And it will help him to, to finish with his grip at his chest rather than going under the table. So I hope that helps. Please subscribe to the channel. And thank you very much. This is Gavin York's Snooker Coach.